This video covers installing an adjustable fuel pressure regulator on a GM throttle body system. The factory system has a very wide range of fuel pressures that GM considered acceptable, but the engine really runs the best at about 11 to 12 psi. The first step is to remove the gas cap. If you haven't watched my throttle body rebuild video, make sure to watch that first before this one. Remove the intake assembly. Place a rag under the fuel line, then use a line wrench to remove the fuel feed line. Remove this brake booster vacuum line. Disassemble the transmission and throttle cables. Loosen the three throttle body bolts and move the unit to the side. Moving on to the adapter fitting. Use Permatex number 2 and put sealant on the included brass plug, then tighten it down. The same is done for the 90 degree fitting. Make sure the adapter has the plastic o-ring, then screw it into the throttle body unit. Use the same Permatex number 2 on the fuel pressure gauge and install it on the 90 degree brass fitting. Attach the stock fuel line fitting to the new adapter. The stock line will need to be bent a little bit to get it to line up. Tighten down the three throttle body bolts. Install the brake booster vacuum line alongside the transmission and throttle cables. Turn the key to the run position and prime the fuel pump. Make sure to check for any fuel leaks. It looks like my stock fuel pressure is right at 11 psi. That's actually not bad. The target we want is 11 through 12 psi. Some engines can be as low as 8 psi. Now that we know what the stock fuel pressure is, we will remove the throttle body unit. Starting with the brake booster line, injector wires, and various vacuum lines. followed by the throttle position sensor and idle air control valve. The throttle and transmission cable are removed.
Use a rag to catch any fuel, then loosen the fuel fittings. Unbolt the throttle body unit, then tape off the intake manifold. Remove the Torx bolts. Lift off the top of the throttle body unit. Remove the two fuel line fittings, making sure the plastic O-rings are also removed. Remove the three Torx bolts, then lift the injector pod off the assembly. Remove any old gasket material on the unit. Remove the four bolts that hold the fuel pressure regulator in place. Now it's time to install the new adjustable regulator. It only goes on one way. Drop the aluminum perch inside the cup followed by the spring. Reinstall the four Torx bolts. We will need to drill a hole to fit the adjustable screw. Punch the center of the circle on the throttle body unit. Drill the hole, then deburr both sides. Place the injector pod on the unit and see if the adjustable screw fits. Since the screw fits, we will move on to installing the injector pod cap with a new gasket. Make sure not to forget this little figure eight gasket. Reinstall the injector pod and Torx bolts. Install the regulator screw. If it's not very clear, you can adjust the fuel pressure by screwing the red knob up or down. To clear the screw, we need to bend this vacuum line just a little bit. A new, thicker injector pod spacer is installed alongside the three longer Allen head bolts. The air filter screw is installed. 
Make sure the plastic O-rings aren't stuck inside the throttle body unit. Use a new plastic O-ring and screw in the return side fuel line. And then do the same thing on the custom fuel line adapter. Use Permatex number 2 on the pressure gauge and torque it down. The injector rubber is installed. It's a little bit easier to screw in the fuel lines before tightening down the main throttle body bolts. After hand tightening the fuel lines, snug them down. A new intake gasket is installed and the three bolts are torqued down. The throttle and transmission linkage are reattached. followed by the brake booster vacuum line. Reinstall the various vacuum lines. Plug in the injector wires the throttle position sensor, and idle air control valve. Prime the fuel pump and check for any leaks. It looks like my fuel pump can't supply anything over 11 psi which is a little bit disappointing because I wanted 12. I wasn't able to get the custom fitting to stop leaking fuel, so I reinstalled the stock fitting. I can still adjust fuel pressure, I just won't have a gauge to look at. Checking for new leaks is paramount for this mod. Reinstall the intake system. Thanks for watching this far. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and follow me on Instagram.